How you going guys, it's JD here. Welcome back to my channel, peace. So I'm back in Melbourne now, as you can see. Uh, well, maybe you haven't worked that out yet, but uh, yeah, I'm back in Melbourne. I had a wonderful time over in uh, Bangkok, Thailand. Met some beautiful people, as I mentioned in the previous video. I do miss uh, Bangkok a little bit, and g'day guys over there. <laughs> yeah, well, today we're gonna do some street photography here in Melbourne. So this is the camera that we're using today, the, the little Sony ZV-1. I'll be using uh, flash, uh, like I do. I love using flash. And uh, I find this to be a little pocket rocket. I love it because I can just put it in my pocket like that. And I've got this uh, strap that I can just take off and I'm free, you know, so I've got both hands free. Yeah, so that's why I use the Sony ZV-1 because it fits uh, well into my pocket. Problem is, I like to vlog with it as well, but I can't vlog with it and shoot with it unless I get a second ZV-1, which I'm thinking about. But uh, in the interim, I'm using a GoPro, and the GoPros are great uh, little cameras too. And I'm gonna show you how I go about uh, shooting in the street non-confrontationally. That's a mouthful. Yeah, so that's the objective. It's not to ruffle any feathers. You've got the hunting style of street photography. I always have my camera, except for shaving in the morning. It's an extension of the eye. Photography is very much to me a physical pleasure, like hunting, except that we don't kill. Bruce Gilden style, where you'd have to, you know, get your flash and go, yeah. But I have to say, people like Bruce Gilden, Mark Cohen, and the real Sir Robin have definitely got courage, that's for sure. And they know how to get some great flash shots. So I've developed my own style where I use uh, off-camera flash, and I'll show you how I do it and why I recommend that you try it because it's non-confrontational and it's a lot of fun and you will get some distinct images that you will not emulate whatsoever without a flash. The style of street photography that I've been enjoying with flash lately is known as the fishing technique. Basically standing around waiting for something to... Yeah. The only problem is Psychologically, it does play on your mind a little. You're standing in one spot. Is that uh, you appear to be loitering, but you're not loitering, you're doing strip photography. <laughs> you're watching the world go by, and everybody knows that you're there with your flash. Street photographer. <laughs> what I like about my style of street photography is that I don't have the flash in my hands. It allows me to concentrate on my subject. Just go back and street photographer. In addition to that, they don't look at the flash, they're looking at me with the camera. That's providing the flash fires, I get a good shot. In this instance it didn't fire, but I looked up and I noticed a leg hanging out of the window. So I captured that. This time it fires. Happy with the results too. Yeah, so that's my style. I believe it's less confrontational than traditional street photography with flash. And you get some pretty interesting images. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what it's all about. I feel comfortable. And you see, there was no confrontation. Completely. Here I tried to do some street photography the traditional way then. Street photographer. With flash, but I didn't get as close as say the real Sir Robin would. But in this instance, I kept the camera pretty straight for a change. Still happy with the results though. Back to my fishing technique. And I practice by engaging the community and asking them to pose for street portraiture. And that allows me to learn more about my style. Hey guys, it's me just chiming in for a minute. I just thought I'd elaborate a little bit on the next scene. Uh, why I really enjoy doing street portraiture, interacting with the community. Not only is it a way of having fun, it also improves my street photography with flash because I get to practice. Yeah, so I'm orchestrating the scene with my subject. It allows me to 
work out different techniques shooting street photography with flash and uh, it's also a lot of fun. All right guys, I found a skateboarder. His name's Jack and he's kind enough to uh, allow me to film him. So I'm just gonna set up my, my camera again. So what I'm doing now, I'm just making sure that, that I've got the camera the way I like it. So that's pretty much right now. It's, uh, well, it looks okay, I think. Looks pretty good. Just take a test shot, looks good. Now we're gonna build it up with flash as well. So I'm at uh, one five hundredth of a second here. And uh, we'll see how we go. All right, Jack, if you wanna just watch the car coming and if you wanna just ride across the road When we get the opportunity. In the meantime, I'm gonna take a test shot. So stay there, I'm gonna to come to you and see how the light goes. That's pretty cool. All right, so, that's, thank you. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flash it. You can do whatever you want, anywhere from that uh, marker pole there uh, to the, just past the center of the road, okay? And just keep going that way. And you can keep going around a couple of times if you like, and then I'll get a good, good shot. All right, when you're ready, I'm ready. Okay, guys. So, Jack's going to cross the road. We'll take him one shot. Oh, take it easy. You're right. Yeah, just take it easy. Don't hurt yourself. And watch the car coming. He's a pretty cool guy. So we just wait for this car to get out of the way. All right, and there's another one. So we've got a few cars coming through, so we need hardware lane. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Thanks. We'll, we'll get another one, Jack. I've got, just show you this one. It's not bad but I'll try and get you a bit that way further. That's a pretty good shot. Like Lo that way? Yeah, the light's really nice. Yeah. It's, you look really good there. But maybe diagonally across. Like across? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you can still come up there, just diagonally across. Because I love that lighting. As you can see here. Yeah. All right, whenever you're ready. Cool. All right, I'm just going to lower the flash because it's too too bright. So again, I'm back down to 1 16th. Then we'll go one more time. Thanks, Jack. It looks really good, the lighting. On uh, Jack. All right, go, Jack. Cool. All right. One last one. But uh, that car's there. So I'll go on this side of you this time. So... If you go that way, but I'll get you from this side. Yeah, and you go that way, okay? Which will probably make for a better picture. So everyone's out today because it's a beautiful sunny day. Or our autumn or fall. Got ya. There you go. What do you think of that? It's okay? Or you want another one? Yeah, that's cool. Cool? Yeah. Get one more, just do one more since you're looking so good. Just don't hurt yourself. Exactly the same thing. We'll get one more because that light is just exquisite. I love that lighting. Might as well take advantage of the light. You look great there, Jack. Thank you very much. So, uh, are you on Instagram? Yeah. Do you wanna... You want, yeah, want to shout out your Instagram? Yeah, my Instagram's 23juice.z. Go check that out. All right, thanks very much, Jack. I'll catch you later. No worries, man. Peace.
Hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you in the next one.